YouTube, it is me, Alicia, and I'm here with my beachy themed DIY. Um, I have my beachy waves in my hair and kind of beachy little outfit. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so for this video, I just grabbed a couple of glass jars. The first one is an empty candle that I've used, and then all the other ones are from the Dollar Tree. And just a glue gun and other little things like twine and ribbon and seashells and then some sand and rocks it doesn't really matter what you choose um just do whatever you want to do um these are just items i picked and i also got fishnet decor okay so i cut off a piece of the fishnet and it didn't actually cord i'm so sorry guys but i cut off a little piece and it was actually longer than i needed so what I did was wrap um, a small piece of twine around the top, which I was going to do anyway. And then I cut off the excess, which you will see me do here in a minute. Um, and I did glue a little bit better to the top, just so it wouldn't move as much on me as I'm trying to like get everything in place. Um, but yeah, here's me wrapping the twine around the top, and then I will cut the excess off, and it'll look a lot better, I promise. So here I'm just kind of adjusting and making it nice and tight so that the fishnet doesn't hang loose. And then I am going to finish wrapping the twine around the top of the mason jar. And you just kind of start at the bottom and then each time you turn it around you just um, do another layer if that makes sense. And it's really hard to tell but that's what I'm doing right here and it just creates a nice even um, twine. Okay, so here I am just opening the sand up and then cutting a piece off the corner to dump into the big centerpiece jar. Um, I end up changing this, I'm sorry guys, um, but I just kind of want to show you some options that you could do with this. Um, so what I did is put sand in there and then I also end up adding a little candle and shells. What I did was actually taking out the candle and just leaving shells in there and then I added the whole bag of sand. Um, but this is just one way you can do it. I just like the way it looked better in my bathroom. Um, yeah, but sorry guys, I, I changed it on you. And here I am adding twine around the bottom of this jar. It just adds a little extra touch to it. And before you just saw me kind of messing around to see what I can do with it. When I do start these product projects, I don't really know what I'm doing. I kind of just have an idea of what I want to do and then I just kind of play around with it. That's why I have changed stuff around so much more, but um, I really like the way these came out and this is probably my favorite thing that I've done so far. And yeah, so just keep enjoying in the video. I am wrapping the twine around the top of the glass jar the same way I did the mason jar. Just wrapping it once, do another layer, wrapping it again. And if you do this project, you'll be able to notice how it's done. It's kind of hard to tell in the video. But I was supposed to have this video up yesterday, and the app I used to normally make my videos um, wasn't working so I'm sorry I had to record or do my voiceovers like four or five times so I was getting frustrated so I just sat down for a while and then just figured out a different app so right now I'm like literally sitting in the parking lot of my gym trying to do this voiceover and get it over with for you guys 
and tomorrow is the 4th of July so um, I'm gonna have another little Dollar Tree uh, cake pop holder that I'm do for you and then I'm also gonna do like um, 4th of July stuff for you guys or just kind of show you my 4th of July so yeah it will be a kind of different video but I'm looking forward to it and here I am just tying or gluing a piece of burlap around um, the old candle jar that I cleaned out and this is super simple I just put a piece of glue on one end wrapped it around the candle and then glued it again now I'm just gluing some seashells to the front of this and it's super simple but I think it's freaking adorable um, and I love the way this looks and this is probably another one of my favorite parts of this DIY that I did and for this next part like I could not decide how I wanted to add the rocks to this but um, I can't. I changed it a couple times and I end up changing it again at the very end. Um, but these are just some ideas of what you can do. If the rocks weren't white, I probably would have kept them in the mason jar, but um, maybe I can uh, spray paint them or something and leave them in there. So here is my final project. Um, I have the center piece right here and I just added more sand and just rearranged the shells before in the video. Um, I changed this jar to get all the rocks and I just left it empty and I'll most likely just buy a blue candle or something a different color to put in there because the white just washed out the fish netting. And then I just have a little succulent with rocks in that jar over there. Okay, so over here I have a candle I got as a gift from my fiance from Hawaii. On the other side I have a hand soap from Bath & Body. Um, I just grabbed it when I went to their semi-annual sale. And I got this jar and I'm actually going to take the candle out because I don't like the way it looks and just leave the white rocks and the shells in there. I thought that was super simple and super easy. On the inside I have a glitter shell that I got inspiration to make another video for you guys. Yeah. So look out for that and my son woke up so he is over here probably going to hear him talking. Um, over here I got some LED little candles um, from the Dollar Tree and then the silver ones are from the Dollar Tree as well. Um, the LED have little shells and like a little starfish in there. And then the centerpiece is just another empty candle that I um, added some burlap and shells to, added some rocks and a succulent because who doesn't love succulents? And then above the toilet I have um, just four picture frames I bought from the Dollar Tree and it is in another haul that I did. I will link it down below of course. And then the next part is just some towels I got from Kohl's. Um, they aren't Dollar Tree but I decided to show you guys anyway because they tie with, in with the theme that I got from um, the Dollar Tree for watching my video and I just want to say thank you for all the new subscribers and thumbs up if you like this video.